Today was one of those days. And don't get me wrong, I know it's very normal to feel this way now and again, yet I can't help but smile, because today was sunny for the first time in a week. Although I was down, I still had a reason to smile today. That is all because I started to realize my perspective of the day was the very thing making me sad or unhappy. I haven't had one of these days in a while, which is why I think it was easy for me to forget it was my choice all along. I choose to be happy. Although I won't be happy all the time, it is something I choose to express even when I'm down. I simply would like to take those situations and put them behind me, basking in this finely returning sunlight. There is this book called Tuesdays with Mori by Mitch Album, which I highly recommend so I won't spoil it too much, but there's this part that really grabbed my attention. Mori essentially lets his emotions live in the moment, and once he's done feeling and acknowledging it, he allows it to pass. I read that in awe because living in the moment, especially with your emotions, is very hard to do. It inspired me to look in a different perspective. Although I truly think you should feel your emotions for a healthy amount of time given your physical health, I do get it though, it is hard to let go sometimes. We as individuals feel a certain way towards things for a reason. Whether you're aware of the reasoning or not, it is very essential to understand why you feel that way so you can tend to your emotions accordingly. Nothing is permanent, even good things. Eventually, everything will die off at some point. But that's okay. As long as you live your life to the fullest every day, you won't have to be worried about regretting all that you haven't done because you're doing it all. Some say there's always more you could be doing or you're not trying hard enough. Don't listen to that even if you're the one saying it in the mirror. Don't trust others or your own judgment unless it's positively enforced and suggested. You can always consider what people say or do, but it's your choice to judge how much it affects you or if it's good or bad. This podcast may be called Through the Eyes of Me, but your perspective is through the eyes of you. In my eyes, think that's really great. There's this talk I'll have to search for, and if I find it, I'll link it in the comments or on my Instagram. But it had to do with stress, and how more people that saw stress as a bad thing suffered the bad effects more than the people who saw stress in a positive light. I mean this in the best way for ourselves as individuals, but our brains are sort of gullible, in the sense we can convince ourselves to be at peace in any stressful situation. It's really amazing how much perspective can change one's life, and it's up to you whether or not you want to use that to your advantage or disadvantage.